Hey guys, Daphmatic here. So I made this video to help illustrate how to properly use the primary cannon on the main battle tank. What I'm going to cover is uh, the new projectile pathing that they've implemented in Battlefield 4, as well as how to do proper range finding while understanding the path of the projectile and how it affects where your round will actually land. Uh, this is mainly going to affect your combat in close scenarios, uh, which is the majority of the combat you'll do out there. So in, the, in the, the light green line, I have highlighted the projectile path for the T-99 and the Abrams. Um, we'll cover the Abrams in a little bit. And basically what I'm showing here is that as I move farther away from the, the wall, uh, the projectile travels farther along that path, and eventually will actually begin to arc back down and drop towards the earth as you get farther away. So we're at 100 meters here, and we've actually reached about the peak of the path. It lines up about with the, the bottom of that first vertical tick mark. We're at 200 meters, and we're now at the top of the, uh, the vertical crosshair, uh, the bottom tick mark. And we are still a little bit to the right of the tick mark. So I'm fire, I'll fire another round here, and you'll see it's, it's landing just to the right of that vertical crosshair. Here we're at 300 meters. And this should be at the bottom of that vertical crosshair, but we start we still we still are a little bit to the right, which means that we'll we'll have to adjust when we're actually aiming in at tanks, and make sure we're aiming just to the left and you know lining up those tanks just to the right of that crosshair. 400 meters, you probably won't be aiming anything in the, the Shanghai map at anything at 400 meters, but I wanted to illustrate it anyway. Uh, it's about a good it's about the same length as that tick mark below it. So now we're in the Abrams, and you can see at 4 meters, uh, the, the shell impacts where the barrel's at. At 10 meters, we're about halfway to the reticle. And once we get to about 50 meters, we've hit the top of the arc. And now we're, we're close to the reticle, but not that close. 100 meters, we begin our drop down. We're still quite a bit farther to the right. Uh, it doesn't line up with that vertical crosshair. And at 200 meters, we're at the top. Still need to adjust to the right a bit. And... 300 meters, I'm aiming directly in the corner, and you can see the explosion shoots out to the left, meaning it hit that right wall there. And I'm going to take another shot, and I'm actually going to aim to the left of the building, and illustrate that while I'm not aiming at the building, the shell still hits it, meaning there's there's a bit of deviation of where the, the crosshair is actually zeroed right now. And Demise mentioned in a Reddit post that this is fixed for the main, uh, the main release of the game. So it should be fixed once they release it. Uh, however, while you're in open beta, you'll have to adjust manually. Just do that Kentucky windage. So I'm going to fire another round here to illustrate. Even at 400 meters, uh, we're still quite a bit to the right, whereas with the T-99, it's it's almost even. Now, another thing I noticed with the rangefinder while I was doing the testing is the rangefinder had the rangefinder has the same deviation. Uh, as I'm aiming to the right of this pillar, you'll notice that it goes from 90 to 200, and I haven't even moved off the pillar yet. Uh, and the same goes for the other side where if I aim off the pillar, it still looks as if I'm aiming at it, but if I move past it, only then does it actually look at the building behind it. Uh, so it seems as if the reticles just moved off to the left a little bit, but as Demise said uh, in that Reddit post, uh, this, this is fixed, so once the main release comes out, there will be some changes, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, I hope you found the video useful. Uh, hopefully this helps you visualize a little better about what's going on with the projectile path. Uh, and finding and hitting those ranged targets. If you found the video useful, leave me a like. It always helps me so that I know what kind of videos and what kind of content you guys want to see. Uh, if you don't want to miss anything else, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any comments, just leave them below. I'll make sure to get back to you guys. All right, I'll see you out there.